Good morning and welcome to the newspaper review on Quest Television and Radio. My name is Sarah Omowigo and I'm not alone. I am joined by my analyst this morning, Mr. Odomo. No, if you're comrade, comrade or domo, yes, the, the unordained bishop. <laughs> I yes. was trying to skip that part, no, but, <laughs> but yes, like every other day, we review the dailies and see what is happening in our nation, Nigeria. And today is no exception, as we're looking at few dailies and seeing what they have to offer us this morning. Well, the first daily for review is that of the Daily Sun. Now, let's see what is there. Or rather, let's look at the Vanguard. Yes, so the big uh, story on the Vanguard says bombing error won't deter fight against terrorism. This is coming from the defense minister. Uh, Kika underneath the big story says UN deplores incident. Death toll rises to 127. Victims recount ordeals. Some injured move to Army 44 Reference Hospital. PDP demands probe compensation for victims. CSO seeks overhaul of security architecture. Well, all of that you can read on page 5 of the Vanguard paper, talking about the bombing incident that happened um, in uh, Nigeria. I think Kaduna, if I'm not mistaken. Well, another story that says budget 2024, military to sustain assault on terrorists, a bandit. That story you can read on page 9 of the Vanguard newspaper. We're well, still on page 9. Plots to subvert people's will portend danger. Coalition. Pastor Chris Oyakilome sharing God's love through ministry. Well, you can read that one on AI of the Vanguard. Well, above the mass head, there are some stories that says more suffering for retirees as federal government cuts pension spending by 21%. More on that on page 19 of the Vanguard paper. We're still on the Vanguard. Page 8 says NJC okays 11 new justices for Supreme Court. I think this is a good one as they have been complaining about the number of justices in Nigeria. And on page 13 of the Vanguard paper says demolition, court freezes, Kano government account over 30 billion naira compensation. Oh, we're still on the Vanguard. Now let's come down below the mass head. says stop tax waivers. Concessions already granted to corporate entities, Senate tells federal government. Well, you can read more on that on page 8 of the Vanguard. But what you will get on page 19 says government should discourage pegging Naira to a currency. This is the opinion of expert. While well, still on the Vanguard, we have another headline that says Eagles must win AFCON. And hotels, NFF, Pissarro. What well, this you will find in the sports world that is page 30 of the Vanguard. And I think that is the much that we can take from the Vanguard this morning. Well, quickly, the next paper upward review is that of the Nigerian Tribune. And the big story says Kaduna drone strike, protesters storm NAS, PDP wants independent probe. Our uh, kick on the the story says review rules of engagement. United Nations tells military. Men is still missing as death tolls rises to 127. Well, all of that you can read on page 16 of the Nigerian Tribune. Well, above the mass head says PNG to dissolve ground operations in Nigeria. Revert to import only business model. You can read more on that on page 6. And on page 2 says NJC recommends Samani Abiru Sanki, eight others as Supreme Court justices. Our well, coming below says Court of Appeal relocates Kogi governorship election petition tribunal to Abuja. Alleged attack on tribunal secretary, police warn against inflammatory statement. You can read more on this on page 23 of the Nigerian Tribune. And on page 15 says police arrest suspected ritualist over death of a hundred level OAU student. This is a sad one. Uh, page 8 says no money voted to renovate my of my residence. No money voted to renovate my residence. Coming from Baja Biamila, you can read more on this on page 8 of the Nigerian Tribune. Federal government to leverage Islamic finance to fund green project. Nigeria's Islamic finance industry has $2.9 billion size. 
coming from the sack. All of these you can read on page 7. And lastly, from Nigerian Tribune, stop tax waivers or fire rebate, Senate committee asks federal government. Finance minister admits 3 trillion naira loss in 2023. You can get more of that story on page 2 of the Nigerian Tribune. Well, the next paper up for review is that of the punch. And the big story on the punch paper says Kaduna village bombing, protesters storm National Assembly, AI threats in suit, debt reaches 127. A kick underneath the story says protesters condemn, condemns killing United Nations or just military to protect civilians. PDP asks Tinibu to declare national mourning. Victims may demand 29 billion naira. Well, all of these you can read on page 2 of the punch paper. Well, above the masthead says 346 billion naira voted for presidential jets. Refreshment orders. This is coming. Uh, you can read more on this rather on page 21. And on page 22 says airlines eye 964 billion dollars nigerian african carriers post losses federal government loses six, 161 million dollars to nine-year conflict with intel's npa uh, you can read more on this on page 28 of the punch paper and another headline says federal government votes 50 billion naira for student loans you can read more on this on page 28 and what you will get on page 4 and 5 says family mourns nigerian ladies strangled to death in the uk and that is a sad one right there say suspected race release dismembered all au student sells parts to ogun yao boy mm. That you can read on page five. I think it's the Nigerian Tribune or the Vanguard. One of those papers also carried that story. That should be Nigerian Tribune. Uh, says suspected race release. Dismembered OAU student sells parts to Ogun Yawu boy. You can read more on that on page five. And the big story on the point shows the pictures of the new 11 justices that have been added to Nigeria's Supreme Court. Well, because of time, let's quickly go to the next paper for review. And that will be the Guardian. And the big story says a dilapidated police barracks. 22,000 officers await relocation claims. Rather, I'll take that again. 22,000 officers await relocation claims seven months after quit notice. Well, you can read more on that on page six of the Guardian. Well, other headline says Tinibu threatens to shut public buildings, denying access to PWD, that is people living with disabilities. You can read more on that on page 3 of The Guardian. But what you will find on page 6 says UN flays Kaduna bombing as protesters storm National Assembly demand ministers' resignation. Our coalition alleged kernel crisis against Tinibu. You can read more on that on page 5. Another headline says Youth Games, a decade of deceit or work in progress is a question. Well, you can read more on that on page 4. And on page 30 of The Guardian, IVF, Nigerian Youth, Sell Gamets for Survivor. Sportmanship, a lesson of the Liberian election. You can read more on that on page 12. While on page 18 in the business page of The Guardian, says 2023 exit list. PNG shot manufacturing as forex crisis takes toll on production. Or because of time, that is the much that we can take from the dailies this morning so that we can give time for our analysts to answer some few questions and, of course, for the listeners to call in to be a part of the program. Well, I'll quickly give out the phone lines. It's already on your screen, but for those of you who are listening by radio, the numbers are 081 888 or 080 While we await your calls, let me get to our analyst, Comrade Odomo. Good morning, yeah, once good again. Good morning, the undrinkable wine. <laughs> All right. So, yes, yeah, so many stories from the dailies this morning. Uh, I think one story that is particular that appears in all dailies is that of the bombing in Kaduna mm -hmm. State with a debt toll raising to 127. And now they are calling for the resignation of the minister. And PDP is saying that the victims' demand uh, deserve two twenty-nine billion naira in compensation. What do you have to say about that? Yes, thank you, Firewall. Actually, 
they demand compensation mm -hmm. and they need they needed to be compensated saying that they denied it initially saying it was not from the nigerian air force the strike itself no the, yes initially they said mm -hmm. so but uh, they came out at the end of the day to say that they did that they mistaken them for uh, terrorists, terrorists mm -hmm. uh, having a, a meeting you see it's, it's like they did not do enough uh, surveillance uh, intelligence report because, because they I, I believe they were dressed in their attire they were celebrating one of the islamic holidays i think the bet of uh, mohammed if i'm not yes, mistaken they were celebrating so, uh, Muhammad's uh, birthday. exactly and if they had enough intelligence report they would have known that that thing is not a garden of the terrorists exactly it's yes. a celebration and that that bombing was a mistake too many, mm. mistake too many. not one not two no yeah, it's a total wanting destruction of life and their properties even the competition cannot even actually compensate them for, what for they the have lives lost. that have been lost but something must be made to know mm. that quite well they were they were sorry for what they did. No, they've uh, tendered their apology, but yes. that's still not enough. We still have some of them that, uh, like as I said yesterday, there is no how difficult or how magnitude the, the level of war. It cannot wipe off a whole family. Somebody mm. must still be left. Because they put the question yesterday, now that these people are dead, if they pay compensation, who takes the money? There must still be somebody. From there must still be somebody, exactly. A standard family family member, member, a brother, a sister. They should try as much as possible to avoid, the, uh, to avoid in the future mm. before you carry out that. No, people ask this question. If they could mistakenly bomb and those number of people died, all the surveillance reports they have, the targeted areas, have they been able to kill 10% of such in, in the single bombing? Mm, but they have been reporting that they've been killing a lot of um, the terrorists. Now, know, where are right, so it is that. report we are hearing. I've not seen anyone physical. They've not mm -hmm. addressed anyone to our eyes. They've been addressing it to our ears. Sure. So if they sustain this level of uh, attack on the, on the terrorists, in near in, in the nearest future, we should be able to do away with all this uh, terrorism. Uh, exactly, <laughs> seeing how long Nigeria has been battling with terrorism, and they have been bombing for quite a while right now. So, and we yes. still we still have terrorists that everywhere, are terrorizing yes, Nigeria. Yes, up everywhere, mm. kidnap everywhere. Not quite long, they took a whole a whole uh, transport vehicle. Only only the four persons escaped. Every other person taken into captivity. Mm. In the east, the news is not different. In the west, the west is a bit uh, quiet now, but that does not mean that it has been totally eliminated. You know, crimes has spiral binded into several uh, sectors. The kidnapping, the kidnapping for ritual, kidnapping for ransom. And so many things are, are like that are happening. I don't really think that we're going to come out of this in, in the nearest future. Because we've allowed it to stay too long in our system and mm -hmm. it has become a part of us. So you know, like you, it's you part know, of the flag. People will tell us in the proverb that uh, if leaves stays too long in, with soap, the leaf itself becomes soap. So the uh, terrorism and criminality has also become part of us of Nigeria. Uh, a system of life. Mm. The children that have been born these few days, when they grow up tomorrow, they will not tell you that there is nothing. They will not tell you that there is anything wrong with crime because they, they met it on ground and they agree with it and they imbibe the the, 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 the spirits and the culture. So they should have nipped this in, in the ball long ago. Well, that's the result of uh, the inability of acting uh, as it went you. That's what we are saying now. All right. Well, away from that one, another story that caught my attention is that of the OAU student that was killed, the 100 level. Um, according to the punch, to say suspected racialist, this member, the OAU student, and sells parts to Ogun Yahoo boy. Actually, it's very, very unfortunate. Mm. And our ladies, too, our ladies, you people should learn to be contented with what you have. So, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, uh, actually, see, I understand, understand the message. Yes, mm. that, that they should. You want to you want to go for iPhone, you want to go for this, you want to go for that. Your parents cannot afford that. Why don't you make do with the little they can? Mm. Rather than running after these frivolous uh, issues. You, you you were sent to school to go and acquire knowledge and use the knowledge to build yourself and benefit and better your family life. But rather you run from a man's house to another man's house looking for better life. You want to sit in front of Venza, you want to sit in front of a uh, GLK, you want to sit in front of a uh, uh, Toyota Camry, the latest one and all this. It does not pay. It does not pay. Because don't forget, the car you are sitting in was bought with somebody's blood, especially the Yahoo boys. I'm not, mm. being, I'm not saying that every car on the road is bought with blood. Okay, okay. But the, the, the Yahoo boys, you are very proud to associate yourself with them sitting in front of their car. They must have bought that car to somebody, so you have to pay back. It's a payback period. But that does not mean that what, the, what, the, what is happening is actually good. It is a mm. very, very bad thing in the society. And again, attention is being shifted to undergraduate girls. We discussed this about two weeks ago. Why is it that the graduate girls are more vulnerable? Is it that they carry more... More, more gold, more oil, oil, in their oil, <laughs> oil in their, yes, oil in their head. That mm. so a lot, a lot has to be done uh, yeah. in educating and informing our ladies and also the, the young men. You also. have mm. use that phone is phone actually. Thirty three ten Nokia will still give you the same call the iPhone will give to you. Mm. And uh, the, 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 if you like, buy a phone of uh, one point seven million. A lady came to my wife's clinic one day. 
My wife was telling me that this one, this girl is carrying is more than a million. I said, it's not so. So I just called the girl and said, okay, this your phone is beautiful. Can I see? He said, yes. Sir. And I put it in my ear. And I told her, the phone is not talking, though. He said, you have not dialed anything. I said, oh, do I need to dial it? Yes. I said, but this, don't you think this is up to 500? He said, what is 500? This is 1.6. Wow. The lady of 17 years old. 1.6. Mm. You are carrying that type of phone. Somebody bought it for you. Now go to the background of such people. The parents may still be living in one room. Not be able to afford that phone. That, that phone is still living in one room. Mm. And you are carrying that type of a phone. This is a level of greed, actually. If you if you are blaming the the yam, if you are blaming the termite for eating the yam, you also blame the yam for growing out of the soil. Because if it didn't grow out of the soil, the, the termite will not see to, to consume. So if you are blaming the Yahoo boys for for what they are doing, we also need to blame all these guys too. For the level of greed. But I would, I would, I would also have to state that not every victim is someone who longs for their property. I agree with you. you. We I agree with that. So as I said, it not a you know, lot of talk needs in, to be in, done. In, 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 in France, if you have twenty women and one man, they refer to that group as he. It does not mean that everybody there. Exactly. Yes. Okay. But when the rate of of, mm. of, of, of an evil is far far higher than the rate of the of the of the benefit, you classify everybody to be so. We have so many people that are victim of circumstances. True. Sure. Victim of circumstances. Mm. What happened in my area last week? I mean, yes, last week, exactly. Last week. The, the, the friends came from nowhere. They just came to call together. The they just got a house in our acreage over here. Mm. That the girl should come and look at the place. Only for the girl to go there. Then the, she was only, the, she met only one, only one person in the house. A lady too. The lady gave her five her life. She consumed the five her life and she was dancing. The lady said, finish it, finish it. You are my friend, finish it. She lost consciousness immediately after that. All she could remember is, I better call my mother, call my mother. The other lady now sees all her phones and puts them off. For no reason. Okay, then I said, let me go and buy coconut. And she locked the girl inside the house. The house. The girl was able to escape through the back door. When she came back and she discovered the lady has escaped, she switched off all her phones. Indeed, they've not been able to get that girl. Mm. What were they looking for? What was the intention of drugging her? What was the intention of locking the doors against her? Against what was her. the intention of seizing her phones so that she would not be able to communicate? Is that not a ritual attempt? Mm. But yes, we're still looking at the dailies on Quest Television and Radio. And like I said, the phone lines for you to be part of the conversations are already on your screen. But for those of you listening to us via radio, 081-88-888-931 or 08022-931-931. Another headline yesterday, again, that as I yesterday I read about was the indigenes of Abuja or FCT demanding... Yeah. The resignation of Yesom Wike, saying that he's a distraction to the uh, Tinebu's administration. Uh, what do you have to say about that? They call him on court that he's not fit for that position. You know, you know, if so, it is the most difficult thing in life is to change a running system. Mm. They've all been used to the system in Abuja. Uh, I think the best one of the ministers that have done incredibly well in Abuja remains the Aero Fire, Nasa Aero Fire, when mm. it's based on federal capital territory. People put houses on top of canal drainages and all this, and it was causing serious flooding in, exactly. uh, in Abuja. And most people, because they are very close to corridors of power, uh, build houses without a CFO. Just enter into a place and start building because nobody. Same issue Lagos is having right now with exactly. the junior Lagos system. Lagos is even worse. Mm. We talk about Lagos at all. It can take you five hours to drive from your house to the office. You have wasted a lot of manpower, mm. so do not go to Lagos at all. That's of Abuja. We can, with those calling for his resignation, they should look at the terms of reference of his engagement. Mm. They should talk to Mr. President. What are the types of reference of the engagement of this man? Exactly. Is it going beyond that? If it's not, then you know, they can call for his resignation. It's, lo it's only responsible to one man, and that is Mr. President. Is he doing, as, is he doing what Mr. President... What he's been assigned, assigned to, do, to do? Exactly. If yes, then we leave him. And if not, then they start uh, uh, that complaint. Uh, after all, the president said those who would not work would be dropped. Exactly. So not it, I believe if he's not working, the president would have dropped him exactly. already. If he's stepping on toes, are those mm. uh, toes legitimate or illegitimate toes? Mm. Those are the first... After all, he cannot please everybody. At all. At all. Uh, another one says more suffering for retirees as federal government cuts pension spending by 21%. And if we're being honest, we know that the pensioners in Nigeria are not really happy, the most happiest people here, because most of them have not even received. Some of them is their children who are even yet to receive the, the, their even pensioners. Even know that their, mm. their fathers are having pensions. Ex exactly. Yes, if they actually want to have that uh, pension uh, reform, call it pension uh, reform. Yeah. The best thing to the best approach to adopt since all these things have become so much problematic over the years. Exactly, it's been dragging on Calculate for so long. Calculate their terminal benefit and let them have it when they are leaving service, mm. so that they know that they are not coming back. I think at this point, it's not like we don't know the solution to the problem. 
We know the solution. We know to the, the problem, solution. But who applies it? It's mm. the issue. The job for everybody that nobody wants to do because anybody could do it. And at the end of the day, somebody, uh, nobody did it. It remains on the table. If you're, uh, you're supposed to end this benefit for, assume, 20 years. Yes. And it is uh, uh, even 40,000 per uh, uh, yeah, let's say annually. Or annually, or assuming, years, assuming. Multiplied yeah. by the number of years, then you can also, okay, instead of you waiting for 20 years to earn uh, 1 million naira, why don't we give you 600,000 naira and that is the end of the something? Mm. You go and invest in that money. I think it will be better. Because so many retirees even die on the queue. Some True. of them die mm. trying to verify the authenticity of their claims. And that, that is the end. And when you die, your pension is gone. Nobody pays your children your pension because you are gone. Mm. Why don't you just calculate this as part of their family benefit and let them go once and for So if they are to retire this year, uh, before that year, you already start working towards it and letting yes. prepare it for them. Yes. And now the federal government is cutting it by 21%. What they have is not enough for them, right? You are reducing mm. it again. Now what, now what do you expect them to do? Prices are going up in the market. Income is coming down. And you want them to balance the equation. And tomorrow you say that the rate of crime is getting higher. But why would the rate of crime not increase when the social life is so is so expensive and the income to maintain it is not there? If you are saying that you will not uh, you are cutting it, the minimum wage you cannot meet up. But there are some expenses in the country that are going up on daily basis, like the fifteen billion naira accommodation mm. for the vice president is there. The fifteen point seven billion naira for to feed cats and uh, dogs and uh, domesticated animals. Animals. It's also there. The one point five seven billion naira mm. to buy a vehicle or buy vehicles for the first lady is also there. Seven point something million. One point five. One point five nine billion. Wow. Then you are not talking of uh, uh, how many billion of dollars to buy a yacht. Mm. But still, they want to cut down. Uh, uh, you don't put uh, leave. You don't mm. put leave in your mouth where a dump is, and you spit on your hand, and you are telling a blind man to come and lick ice cream. Your shadow is watching you. You know, some of them are already insinuating that uh, most of the judges were compensated mm. uh, with those positions because of uh, the, the roles they played in, in the, the trap. Is that, I, I wanted to mention some names, but I'm trying to be diplomatic no, 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 as no, possible. No, no. Mm. We should not go to that uh, mm. something now because it's a total like, coverage of. Uh, yes. You know, actually, the people must talk. When the people were condemning the judgment in the Persian tribunal, Chabina, then you are yeah. elevating them to the Supreme Court. Mm. Of course, everybody is free to. To have the opinion, have the opinion. You know? if, it, if, it, if an owl that is that is a symbol of witchcraft in, in your place, if they cry behind your house yesterday night and this morning the child dies, what do you think that people will say? They will the owl is responsible, owl. exactly. exactly. Mm. So, but at least we must have judges in the Supreme Court. Yes. We are actually short of judges. They must have judges in the Supreme mm. Court. It's only the NGC that knows the yard stick they use in uh, promoting those people. And that is their jurisdiction. We Hopefully, cannot, uh, it is not the petition tribunal that was a stake for promoting them. Yes. Uh, we trust Tinubu's led what? administration. Uh, the more agenda, or that is. Uh, that more agenda is sheriff, sheriff and I think uh, a sheriff is actually doing more mm. uh, because of the, the, the flyover that we commissioned last week in uh, Worry, and I think it's a good one. Yes, so many projects going on currently in Worry. So, yes, we'll have to give accolades to the um, governor of Delta State for doing more and, of course, for uploading what he has promised during the election. But yes, because of time, that is the much that we can take. Like I said, by 8 o'clock, Mark Gubadia would be here on for the big story on Quest today. So all you have to do is sit back, stay glued to your radio. I remain Sarah Morigo, and I've been doing this with my special analyst in the building, Comrade Odomo, the unordained bishop. The only way to assault my nerves now is next time you are coming here, come with your wine. I cannot be looking at <laughs> all you. Right. If only I could drink wine on TV. But yes, thank you so much for doing this with us. Until next time, stay safe. Bye for now.